right. Easy, easy. A little bit too much touch there. It's all right, though. Hey, how you doing? Good stretch. Play your heart out there. All right. Must be rooting for them Cowboys, huh, sir? Yeah, the, the Cowboys are the greatest team on earth, I believe. Sir, it's time for the coin toss. All right. Uh, you can stay here, though. I'll, I'll be good. I got your back. All right, how you boys doing? Okay. Hello, Mr. President. Today we have the Cowboys and the Packers playing, and the Cowboys are going to call it in the air, heads or tails. All right, gentlemen, this is heads, this is tails. Go ahead and call it in the air. Heads! It's tails. Did you call it tails or heads? I'm pretty sure he called it heads. Sorry. Let's, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Heads! All right, it's heads. We want the ball! All right. All right, good play, Cowboys, good play. Uh, what do you think about this game? It's pretty good, huh? It's good, sir. The Cowboys are a pretty good team. Like the crowd here, good environment. Oh, pigeon! Oh, oh, just a pigeon, all right, good. Oh. I'm getting a little hot. It's getting a little hot. I'm gonna take my jacket off. All right, that's better. Why don't you give me a little space, too? It's, uh, you know, it's good. Oh! All right, all right, let's, let's quiet down, quiet down. I'd like to take you, thank you all for attending here tonight. Um, I know you all are willing to come here for a free meal. You know. Yeah! Woo! And now I'd like to begin by reading off the President's Thanksgiving proclamation, but as the Chief U.S. Citizen Administrator, I don't think I'm the most senior person here. So, uh, is anybody back there? Yeah! yeah. yeah. President! President Day! Right. Well, I was just looking for a, a warm meal somewhere. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. uh, thanks so much for inviting me. Uh, I couldn't think of a better group of individuals to spend Thanksgiving with than you all. Yeah! Uh, except for maybe my family. Uh, but you guys are my family, so I guess I'm doing just that. We thank you for your service, we are very proud of you, and everybody back home stands solidly behind you. And I urge that the people of Iraq seize the moment and rebuild your great country based on human dignity, liberty, and freedom. To the troops, I say that your efforts are not in vain. You're defeating terrorists here in Iraq so that we don't have to face them in our own country on our own turf. Terrorists are testing America's determination, and they hope that we will run. But I say that we do not do not stride hundreds of miles into the central heart of Iraq, pay bitter cost of casualties, defeat a cruel, cold-blooded dictator, and liberate 25 million people only to retreat before an unorganized band of thugs and assassins. We will stay until the job is done, and I am more than confident that we will succeed. For the regime of Saddam Hussein is gone forever. Yeah! Woo! Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you, sir. Can you Do a little bit of that. Make some of this. I actually killed this pigeon earlier today. Sorry, we got, for the interruption, we got an intelligence confirmed of an FML. Uh, ETA three minutes. We need to get our. We need to unask the AO and get our underground bunker now. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Ah. So, so you need to now. Uh, what was all that mumbo jumbo you were blabbing? It's about? imperative for your safety to come now to the underground bunker. All right.
President, I'm thankful to say that the missile was destroyed in space by our anti-missile defense system. You're now out of harm's way. Uh, does this mean I get to finish my turkey? No. Then we're going to war. It's good, good meeting with you. Good meeting. President, sir, we have updates. Oh, first of all, this is uh, my secretary. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, updates on what? Be specific. Um, sorry, sir. The Japanese will be coming for dinner tonight. Uh, that's a very important update. This could make or break our technology policy yeah. with them. That's good. Alright, uh, this policy that will be presented to the Japanese tonight will be based mainly on technology affairs. It is clear that they are more advanced than we are, and it is better for America that we have them on our team uh, than ours our enemy. What's the policy based on? Uh, American engineers will join forces with Japanese en engineers and we will be able to update things uh, today's, like, like today's iTouch or to tomorrow's uh, Mind Song. Mind Song? Uh, yeah, songs in your mind on demand. Uh, so tonight we will discuss the matter of change we can all say yes to over to Peru. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. He says hello. Alright, alright. Sit down. Sit down. Let's go. Hello, Senator Feinstein. I'm glad that you were able to make time for me. Don't think nothing of it. Uh, look, now about that bill. Oh, yes, of course. Here it is. It should be very accepting to your colleagues and fly right through the committee. Alright, looks great. I'm so glad that you were able to get these ready in time. Well, you know, when it's something important to me, I jump right on it. Uh, I had no idea that you were so passionate about this. Well, it's something my family's been doing for years, and I just decided to contribute. It's a good thing I came to you. Uh, and please uh, keep me informed uh, on how the bill's doing. Sure, Mr. President. Nice. On a bill that was proposed by Senator Feinstein, any objections? Mm. Nah, it's chill. It's chill. Yeah, down. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, Mr. President, we've just been informed that the bill has just been passed and it's going in through, to the, through the committees, straight in on the floor for the Senate for its approval. That's good. Finally, yeah. my dream has come true and this country is truly changing. And here we have the Vice President. I'd just like to announce that Bill D-1452 has passed. Woo woo! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I would like to thank you all for this. This bill will change the country and it's a new step into the new world. It is. Huh? Well put, well put. So there's something on the front door mat that I think you should see. Oh, what might it be? Go find out for yourself. Pretty intense game of pool we've got going on. What does the president got to do to hop on that? You can play now if you want. Alright. President, have you thought of anything for your speech yet? Yeah, but I haven't finished it all. I'm still looking for an inspirational message that I can display to the people. How about you relate to people's financial problems? No, that won't work. If I make, uh, $400,000 a year. True.